Neon Demons is a polarizing film to say the least. Many have a problem drawing meaning from its many cryptic scenes. Cryptic scenes seem to be a specialty for the sex-obsessed director that we all love, Nicholas. Like sex and violence, it's all about release. It can be devastating, frightening, wonderful, poetic, strange, beautiful, and absurd. But that's what art can do, and art has to penetrate. Neon Demon's narrative is pretty straightforward. The film follows an aspiring model, Jessie, as she moves to LA to follow her dreams. Throughout the film, there are scenes that seem extremely odd. This is because the scenes are in this heightened reality where we see what the characters are feeling. So when we see Jessie in the model shoot, we see what she is feeling at the moment, isolation and intense fear. There are many scenes like this throughout the film. By showing what the characters are feeling, we're able to gain more insight into characters while being drawn in the film's world. Jesse early into Neon Demons befriends a group of models who we learn later on are cannibals. These models are clearly jealous of Jesse's youth and beauty. Their inner emotions are also manifested on screen. Every model in Neon Demons is shallow and vain. I think this works very well for the film, considering the heightened reality the film is in. The group towards the end of the film kill and eat Jessie to try and gain her youthful look, which we learn doesn't turn out well for all the models. Neon Demons echoes what typical emotions are felt in the modeling industry. Older models are typically jealous of their younger colleagues. The film also shows the vapidity of some of those who work in the industry. That's what ultimately the film is about. Neon Demon's unique storytelling works as both a visceral horror film and a satirization of the modeling industry. If you haven't seen it, I'd definitely recommend it. Comment down below if you agree or disagree with my analysis of Neon Demon's.